Welcome back to Simon Says Farms channel. I'm Liz and today we're going to show you what a molting rabbit looks like. Hey, what's going on over there? This rabbit is like... Well, I can't see you're moving too fast. Oh, sorry. What are you I doing? Am pulling clumps of fur out of her. Is she sick? No, she's molting. What's molting? Molting is when they shed out their fur to grow new fur. A new, more beautiful You can see her cage. Coat. It's covered in fur. Covered. It's pretty Look at it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Jeez, you're too fast. Look at all the fur. That's all the fur so far. I've just lightly pulled out of her. It's, um... And it's September 14th, something 13? like 13th? Yep, and, and it's hot today. It's well, 70 it's, and humid. It's been muggy. I wouldn't say hot, but right. it's been muggy. Now, do you usually just use your hand or do you use a brush? I've done, oopsies. Done both? I've done both, but I do prefer just, they kind of prefer just me. They lightly. just like you touching them. Yeah. Kind of like me. Oh, oh sorry. my God. Oh my goodness. Family farm fun. Um, but yeah, I was just saying like with chickens, it's um when they molt early it can i can kind of get an idea of what the winter is going to do because the earlier chicken molt um the harder the winter is and i'm wondering because everybody i mean look i'm pulling clumps and clumps and clumps of fur out of her and that's one rabbit and we've got about 30. just one of them and everybody who is molting i was saying how in previous years when Rabbits molt, sometimes they just go through like, oh, I'm a little shedding and I'm okay. But it seems like everybody this year, if they're molting, it's this big, ugly, nasty, they look like, they look like they're dying types of molt. Like they, they look like they have leprosy or something. Um, but yeah, so. Should you ever be concerned? About a molt? Yeah. No, it's a good thing. No, molting yeah. is. And you should not shave them. No, no, no. Don't do anything stupid no, to but help. I, I, well, I do like brushing and like yeah. pulling this fur out because what I don't want to happen is that they groom, they groom themselves and they start ingesting some of this fur and then they get something called wool block, which is like a hairball that gets stuck in their intestines. And that's... That's deadly. That is. That's bad. That's very bad. That's not farm fun. That's not farm fun. And, no. you know, knock on wood, we've never had that happen, but... Um, you know, it's, I have had one of them get like a GI issue and uh, lots and lots of hay during this time of the year. And this is a American chinchilla. Yes. And this is named? She's Ireland. Ireland. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can see. Ireland, you're a little chubby. Shh. You don't call the girls chubby. Well. Like this is a piece that she must have dipped in her water because it's all clumpy and wet. Yeah, that's gross. It yeah. is. That and gross. she's got another piece back here. Yeah. But this is the kind of stuff that you want to... That you don't want happening. You want to get this stuff out of her cage because yeah. it's not good for you. Okay. But obviously she loves this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she seems so upset, so upset. about molting. Yeah. They do kind of... Uh, they look miserable. Oh, yep. I never actually got to your water because you won't yep. let me add it. Yeah. And that's so, the other thing is, if you're doing bowls like this, um, you'll notice she's got some hair in there yep. and around the bowl. So we're going to dump it in our water corner. You want to clean it. that off once or twice a day so that when they do drink... This is our sink, our drain. When they do drink the water, you don't want the water to have hair in it too. So clean out the, clean around the edges, see all that nasty stuff. And then pop it out. Give it a little rinse if you have to. But I mean, everything is covered in hair. It's it's gross. Yeah. Times thirty. It's a lot of work, but you do it. Well, big girl, you ready for some water? Okay, ready? She's like, I don't care about the water. I want more pets. Yeah, keep brushing me. I want more pets. So I hope you enjoyed that video. 
I just saw <laughs> dragon fly like almost hit you in the head. <laughs> anyway, um, a lot of people get worried when their rabbit starts losing their hair, so I hope that some of your nerves can be eased by me showing you just how bad it can get and that it's 100% normal. If you like this video, please subscribe down below, hit the like button, hit the bell so that you stay up to date on all of our videos, and we will see you next time.